I've got the Samsung Galaxy S20 here. But today I want to show you a tip for should be all Android devices. And it is a way to set the display timeout option to any number that you want. So for me personally, I just started using a Samsung device as a daily driver. And I haven't used Samsung some devices in a while. And one of the things that I was annoyed with was when you go into the settings and display section, personally, I like to set my screen timeout to about 30 minutes. For me, I'm usually aware enough that I know when my phone is on or off so I can lock it and I don't need the screen time off. So actually having the screen time off happen on its own, especially in short intervals like one to five and even ten minutes is pretty annoying for me however thankfully there is a way to manually set our screen timeout without root access we don't have to have the phone rooted but we are going to use ADB in order to change this option so you can see right here we have these options to choose from on the latest Samsung device but I'm going to show you how to change this to 30 minutes and then show you how to modify that to change it to anything you could do it to five seconds you could do it to six hours it's up to you so to start this we're gonna to need to have USB debugging mode enabled on our phone and different phones have different ways of doing this if you check the video or the full tutorial, which will be in the video description, I'll show you how to enable developer mode so that you can go in and enable USB debugging mode. You're also going to have to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your computer, which again is all explained and detailed in the full tutorial. Once that's done, we can then connect the smartphone to the PC and we can start our ADB service and then grant our PC USB debugging mode access directly from there. So while we have our phone connected to the PC with the USB cable, remember we granted USB debugging mode access and with that done we're going to open up a command prompt and we're going to type out ADB space shell and then press enter on the keyboard that's going to drop us to this other prompt and then from here we're going to type out settings space get space system space screen underscore off underscore timeout now this is actually just going to return to you what your current screen off timeout feature is set to. And I just showed you the phone, that setting was set to one minute. So when we press enter, we get this result, this 60,000 number. So 60,000 is actually one minute. And you can use this to calculate any of the other types of um, screen timeout options that you choose. So you don't have to type this get system screen time off command. I'm just showing you that because that is a, uni a useful command to return that number. What we actually want to do is we want to type out the command. Again, we're still in ADB shell. We're going to type out the command settings space put instead of get we're going to put the system space screen underscore off underscore timeout so you can see the difference here we're going to put and in that place we can set this to anything we want I told you before I prefer a 30 minute option here so that would be 1.8 million so if I go in here and type all that out, 1800000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 
and then press enter on the keyboard, that's going to take this number and set it to our systems screen off timeout feature. Now when we do that, that's going to change the setting we have on our phone. You see we're still in the display section of the settings app. But now, when we look at the screen timeout, it's no longer set to a minute. This, this uh, summary right here says it's set to 10 minutes. However, whenever we tap into it, we can see that none of these options are highlighted because the number we put in is not equal to any of these minutes. It would be a lower option at 30 minutes. And we can actually manually set this back to one minute or two minutes or five or 10 if we want right from here. We don't have to use ADB to change it anymore. We only need to use ADB if we want to set this feature to something that is not listed right here. Now I will say this feature does not seem to stick past a reboot and it definitely won't work past a factory reset or an over there update. So for ADB purposes, you will need to set this command each time you do a restart, which again for me is not a big deal and my phone stays on for days and weeks at a time. I won't notice it until it switches back and then I'll know to change it by doing another command. So if that's you, then this will be perfect for you. There are other ways of extending this screen timeout option. When I looked it up, I uh, saw there was an app called Caffeine that was very popular, and I'll be showing that in a future tutorial. Today, I just wanted to focus on ADB and showing you how to set this feature to any time amount that you want. 